Is that something that got imprinted into the frontal lobe of your brain then right away as you're starting to compete as a young athlete that, wow, when I train with someone who whoops me about every time and you got close to beating him but is beating you, that maybe you started to gravitate toward that late, later as your fighting career started to progress, but then also in business, do you take that in like, I'm going to get around people who are better than me because that's going to make me better? Yeah, I mean, I, you, you know, you would think that I would uh, be a little bit more focused on that uh, <laughs> as, as, as a project. But yeah, I, I don't, I, I mean, I think I do that naturally um, on, on how things, I, I, you know, I, I wouldn't say that I, I, I sit down and go, okay, this is somebody that we, you know, would be a great, you know, coach all the time, you know. But, you know, yes, I do seek out, uh, you know, certain individuals um when i'm doing different projects that are going to be able to take me to that next level or or they're the missing piece in you know something that that i need to get done and um you know the, the thing that, that i think that that most of us uh work you know the thing we as we get older we do is we, we become um we become less sure of ourselves being unsure of things meaning like you know when i was a younger guy and i didn't know what was going on you know what i mean um It'd be like the coach would be like, you know, hey, wait, I'll do it. You know what I mean? You know, I didn't know what the hell I was doing, but hell, I'll figure it out, right? You know what I mean? And I think as we get older, we, we become a little bit more cognizant of the fact that we don't know what we don't know. And that sometimes puts a hesitation in us, which um, is uh, which is a shame because, um, you know, that's just making you old. You know, the fact of the matter is, is like, uh, you know, you, you, you need to be, you need to still take challenges on as if you're a younger man. If you're, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta take that, 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 I, I believe you need to take that kind of kid's attitude to stuff. Like, you know, my, 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 my son's a prime example. He, even, even now, you know, he's, he's a lot, obviously a lot more cognizant of who he is because he's a 17, almost 18 year old boy. And they, they tend to be obviously very self-conscious about stuff. And he is self-conscious, but he still has this kind of this, this like, you know, Hey, I'll give it a shot type type attitude uh and which i hope he never goes and i hope that never goes away for him um because that that'll get him uh farther in life than anything you know being in the question of things is better than having the answers ah oh, that's a great quote and it's also it is kind of the fountain of youth to be to always be seeking adventure if yeah. maybe it's the fact that our ego when as we age we get older our ego has figured out what to avoid to survive when we're younger, I don't know if it's just, especially if you're a young dude, man, You just, uh, I was just restless all the time. Yeah. And my parents would be like, here you go, and just kind of point me in a somewhat constructive, uh, like in that direction. Yeah. Like like I could, do, I could do the least amount of harm <laughs> to yeah. other people if I went and smashed into that. So they'd be like, why don't you run over there? And, and then you just do it. Maybe as you get older, you're well, we talked before we started, before we went on live about, you know, not trying, not trying to improve as you get older too, that, that you just sort of sit in what, what you know, and you don't try, you say you want to lose weight, you say you want to get richer, you say you want to have a better relationship, but then your actions don't match up with your words. Exactly. But you had wisdom behind that too, as to why people don't, they don't match their words up just because they're afraid of the effort or afraid of the unknown of, well, what would it take? What would me getting in shape in 2023 actually look like? Not next New Year's, but like every day or every week or every month, I have to do this in order to accomplish this bigger goal. And you probably are coming across people all over the place who are like, man, I'm coming to, I'm coming to see you uh, at Monster in January. And maybe you're thinking in your mind, well, let's start right now. Well, you know, when, when I hear that, what I what I basically, you know, say is, all right, see you in January. But I, knowing that, you know, majority of those guys, that's not going to be the case. You know, I mean, um, you know, uh, you're right. I literally get... You know, everybody, they'll, they, they, I run into somebody, oh, my gosh, it's been so long since I see you, you look great, but it is, I want to get in shape, I, you know, I want to talk to you about uh, coming to see your clinic, all this kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, great. Here's my card. Knowing that most of people aren't going to do that, you know, and, and it's a shame because, you know, 
the thing about it is, is that there is no standing still in life. Now, I hate giving bodybuilding any kind of credit, and if I hurt. <laughs> If I hurt bodybuilders' feelings about this, it's not you guys personally. I just think the activity of bodybuilding is kind of silly, yeah. you know, uh, mainly because they bust their ass. I mean, the worst bodybuilder busts his ass on a discipline level, which uh, most people don't don't have. And they do it, um, you know, strictly to be involved in a, a beauty pageant, basically, you know. And, and um, so for me, it's like, if I'm going to put that much effort in, I've, I've got to get s- something a little bit more out of it. You know what I mean? Meaning like I've got to be stronger or i got to be faster or I've got to be a better fighter or i got to be something for the effort that I'm going to put into it, you know, because um, not that I can't be vain because I can be extremely vain, but um, <laughs> it's – I'm not that I'm not so vain that I, I just want to lift, you know, that, that that that's that's my goal. Hey, what's up? Thanks for checking out my clips here on YouTube. You can also check out other clips on Instagram and TikTok at Jess from the Northwest. I've also got a ton of other great content here on the YouTube channel. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys down the road.